Since the dawn of civilization, humans have chased the dream of living forever. From ancient legend of the Fountain of Youth, to elixirs brewed in secret by alchemists, humanity has always pursued a single question. Can we live longer and, more importantly, live better? Today, that quest has evolved into a powerful movement, blending biology, technology, and human aspiration. It's called the longevity movement. But the question remains, is this the dawn of a healthier, longer life, or are we simply chasing shadows? Let's delve into the world of longevity and uncover what's fact, what's fiction, and what might actually help us age better. So, what do we really mean by the longevity movement? At its core, the longevity movement is about more than just living longer, it's about living better for longer. It brings together a range of disciplines, biology, medicine, technology, and even philosophy, into one shared goal, to extend both lifespan and healthspan. In other words, not just more years in your life, but more life in your years. This movement can be grouped into four main tracks. Scientific research, which dives deep into the biology of aging. Technological innovations, like AI-powered diagnostics, wearable trackers, and personalized medicine. Lifestyle interventions, such as better nutrition, movement, and mindfulness. And pharmaceutical and supplement-based approaches, with drugs and compounds designed to target aging at its core. Each of these paths contribute something different, and together, they're redefining how we think about aging itself. Now moving forward, what's really going on inside us as we grow older? To understand how we might slow or even reverse aging, we first need to ask, what causes it? Aging isn't a single event but a gradual, complex process influenced by several key mechanisms. Cellular senescence, over time, cells stop dividing and begin to malfunction, releasing harmful substances that damage surrounding tissues. Teloma shortening, think of telomas as the protective caps on our DNA. With every cell division, they get shorter, until the cell can no longer function. Mitochondrial decline, these are our cell's energy producers. As they weaken, so does our vitality. And of course, chronic inflammation, a phenomenon often dubbed of inflammaging, that's linked to everything from heart disease to cognitive decline. Understanding these biological markers isn't just academic. It's the first step towards targeted interventions, whether through drugs, diet, or technology, that can help delay these processes. If you're wondering whether the fountain of youth might actually be in your daily habits, you're not wrong. Across countless studies and cultures, we see recurring themes in the habits of those who live long, healthy lives. Let's take a closer look. Regular movement, it's not just about gym sessions. Daily physical activity, especially a mix of weight and resistance training, has been shown to improve heart health, preserve brain function, and even reverse some aging markers. In fact, a study of super-agers by Dr. Eric Topol revealed that strength training was a key common factor in their health span. A balanced diet. A diet, rich in vegetables, healthy fats, and lean proteins, remains a gold standard. It combats oxidative stress and inflammation, two major aging culprits. Glorious sleep, we often take it for granted, but sleep is when our body does most of its cellular repair work. Lack of it not only accelerates aging but also heightens the risk of diseases like Alzheimer's. Stress management, chronic stress ages us from the inside out. But practices like mindfulness, deep breathing, and even laughter can reduce its impact significantly. And perhaps most underrated, social connection. Loneliness has been linked to higher mortality rates. But strong relationships? They protect your mind and body, offering emotional resilience and even improved immunity. These lifestyle pillars aren't just feel-good advice, they're evidence-based and often more powerful than we realize. Now, let's turn to the more experimental side of things. Are we on the verge of medical breakthroughs that could redefine aging? Here's what's stirring excitement and caution in research labs around the world. Senolytics are experimental drugs designed to clear out senescent cells, the zombie cells that damage healthy tissue. NAD plus boosters, such as NMN and NR, aim to support cellular energy and DNA repair. These are being studied for their role in slowing age-related decline. Gene editing technologies like CRISPR, 
hold the potential to switch off or correct genes that accelerate aging. Though we're still in very early stages, it opens the door to unprecedented possibilities. Metformin, a humble diabetes drug, is now being trialed for its potential anti-aging properties. Early evidence suggests it may reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. And a Harvard-led study has recently drawn attention to vitamin D3, proposing it may slow biological aging when taken consistently at the right dosage. But here's the catch, many of these breakthroughs are still in early or experimental phases. The science is promising, but far from conclusive. Long-term safety, accessibility, and regulation remain big questions. Let's now explore a growing, and controversial, side of this movement, commercialization. Longevity is big business. We're talking luxury retreats that promise age-reversing regimens. Designer supplements claiming to reset your biological clock. Wearables that track everything from your sleep rhythms to your stress levels. And while some of these tools empower individuals, others prey on our fears, blurring the lines between innovation and exploitation. So the next time you see a magic anti-aging pill online, ask, is it really science or a sales pitch? If we could all live to 120, what would that mean for society? This isn't just a personal journey, it's a societal one. Longevity brings with it a host of ethical and structural questions. Who gets access? Will life-extending therapies be reserved for the wealthy? What happens to our workforce, pensions, and healthcare systems when people live much longer? And crucially, is a longer life still meaningful if it isn't a better one? These are the debates we'll need to have, not just in labs, but in living rooms, governments, and global forums. One of the most exciting developments in the longevity space is personalized medicine. Instead of one-size-fits-all advice, we're moving towards tailored interventions based on your unique biology. Tools like epigenetic clocks now allow us to measure biological age, sometimes years younger or older than your actual age, based on DNA methylation patterns. Wearable devices are getting smarter and more predictive, helping track everything from stress levels to inflammation in real time. Together, these tools may one day help us design hyper-personalized longevity roadmaps. But we must also navigate challenges like data privacy, accessibility, and the scientific rigor behind these tools. As we reach the conclusion, one thing becomes clear, our desire to live longer isn't new. But today, we have tools, insights, and technology that our ancestors couldn't even imagine. The future of longevity isn't about chasing immortality. It's about extending the time we remain healthy, vibrant, and independent. So whether you're curious about supplements, diving into DNA data, or simply trying to sleep better, remember. Skepticism is healthy. Science matters. And the journey is deeply personal. Because ultimately, longevity isn't just about adding years to life, it's about adding life to those years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on appraisals, revalidation, and interesting topics in healthcare.